Bonjour, I'm Suzanne Kellner Zink from Dawning Visions Hypnosis Inc. I actually was diagnosed with manic depression. I wasn't really being treated in the way that the case manager wanted me to, so she took me out of her care and put me into another psychiatrist's care. What happened ultimately was I found hypnosis as a way to help my clients to be able to get the care that they desired and that they deserved. Because I knew from my own process that I was in college at the time, I was studying nursing. I was in a happy marriage at that time, and my life was going pretty well because I knew what I needed, and I knew that my clients knew what they needed inside themselves. If someone would just listen and drive the magnificence out of them and what was going on inside their mind and help them to get rid of the programming, if you will, that was creating the problems and get them to a point where they could understand how to better live in their lives and get better strategies for themselves. So this is what hypnosis can do. And that's why I got into it. And as a result of getting into it, I went through a really huge, it was like a week-long intensive where I let go of the manic depression in five minutes. I really work in the higher consciousness. And the reason I do that is because the unconscious mind is really your defense mechanism. It is why you do the things that you don't want to do and why you're not doing the things that you do want to do. So how do we deal with this? By bringing people up to their superconscious. It's simple to do because they're already in trance. It's just a suggestion to put them there. They bring in their divine, whatever they call it. And what we can do is we can get the unconscious mind out of the way enough so that we can actually get them to release their problems. Now, many hypnotists don't do it this way, but that's the way I was trained to do it, and it works really well. What I would like to do is I'd like to do something to show you all how this all might work for yourself. So what I'd like you to do is play with me a little bit. All right, so get up on your feet. We're gonna have a good time here. And what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. And what I want you to do is I want you to put one hand with your palm down and one hand with your palm up. The hand where your palm is up, I want you to imagine you are holding a bunch of dictionaries. And they're very, very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. They are so heavy that your hand is just falling, 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 falling. On the other hand, I'd like you to imagine a helium balloon. And the helium balloon is so big and so strong, it's raising your hand. And I want you just to allow the hand to go up with the helium balloon. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, to just open your eyes, leave your hands where they are, and I want you to look around the room, and I want you to see where the people's hands are. And you're going to notice how good your, your ability to fantasize and imagine things, this is what allows hypnosis to work really, really well for folks. It's just one of those things. You can put your hands down now. I just wanted to do that little demo for all of you so that you could understand what was going on. Let's all welcome Joel, my uh, demo subject, who is very brave to come in. There was an issue that you wanted to work on, and it might be an issue that other people here might have an issue with. So why don't you share what you'd like to work on tonight? I think it's an issue many people have at different levels. It's procrastination. Procrastination. Any of you have that problem? <laughs> yeah, well, I thought maybe so. <clears throat> Go ahead and close your eyes down. It's okay if I touch on your shoulders or wrist and your hands. Good enough. Okay. What I want you to do is I just want you to go deeper, 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 relaxed. Deeper, deeper, relaxed. All the way down. Fire yourself to go. You're going to go back to the time when you made this decision, because this is a decision you made, all right? So when you made this decision that it was better for you to wait for tomorrow before handling whatever you needed to do today, I want you to tell me what was the decision that you did make there at that time. It was more fun to go out and play ball than, than do work. I don't know, it was always easy to get past the homework. So what I want you to do is I want you to get some positive learnings. You know what those are, right? Positive learnings are things that are positively learned as a result of the event, right? And I would like you to do that all the way back to now. And when you're done, I want you to just let me know that you're done. What is your new response to putting stuff off? Just flipped around the day. Is that feeling better for you now? It's definitely better. Excellent. I'd like you to lock that in. Good enough. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to come back to the here and now at the count of three, okay? Um, it, it's an interesting state. It's, it's not here and it's not sleeping. It's an interesting uh, middle road. And when you come out of trance, because he did do a session with me, how do you feel afterwards? Right, so the, the full session, um, 
which is one of the reasons that I like working with Suzanne, is it's not a 45-minute session. It's, it's really working deep through the issues. Is, it's an experience. It's, a, it's the ability to make a real change in your personality. 